the real star of the shoot, photo bomb. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. It is Binky with the 10th million video of today. Yes, I look the same in all of them. Kicking them out when I have some free time. Yes, so this one is about candles and I know it's, it's kind of strange, but to me it beautifies the environment for me within my home. And so this is why I have these. I know they're not the most popular, but that's okay because I actually really enjoy them. Um, I just enjoy them. <laughs> so I talk about them. So now these are the glass house candles. And I did say in a previous video that didn't go up yet because, <laughs> surprise, broken computer, we're saying it again. So these have to do with glass house candles that are here in the US now. They are an Australian brand and they finally brought them here to the US. Um, and they're known for their holiday, well, their main line, but their holiday ones people scramble for. They're very, popular, you know, especially in Australia and New Zealand and stuff, but I have been a fan for many years and you used to be able to, um, well, I still do. I get them from a friend in Australia who ships them to me and then I pay that her, of course. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not a bum. I, I, I pay. But, um, so this was before you could get them in the U S so I kind of had that connection because of that. It also was a little bit cheaper because you know, the USD is a little bit stronger than, um, the Australian, you know, dollar as well at this time. And it happens, it fluctuates. So there you go. So it's a little bit of a discount, um, but they are a little bit spendy. I'm going to be honest with you. If you buy them in the US, they are $55 a piece. But sometimes you can get them on sale. Like they'll have a thing where not a sale, they don't have a lot of sales, but you can get a candle for free. Um, if you buy a certain amount, so there are certain things, you know, I, I did get these on discount because I had a coupon. It was only 10%, I think, but I will take whatever I can. And some of these were shipped in from Australia. So they were already cheaper, except for the shipping kind of kicks it up, but it still makes it a heck of a lot cheaper. So I will save my money for this time of year, knowing that I'm going to spend quite a bit. And I didn't buy them at the same time. No, I did not. So I broke it up a little bit, except for the Australia, because the shipping, but in the U.S., basically buy one candle it's free shipping so i just every paycheck would buy another one so kind of breaking it down but they are expensive i mean they're a little bit they're a little bit overpriced i'm going to put it that way I, I think it's a little bit crazy and and i love these candles we'll, we'll talk about the good and the bad we'll talk about the good and the bad so they used to be really quite lovely they used to just have gorgeous jars that were so unique with tags on them these beautiful tags and the boxes were gorgeous and they reformulated to soy which I get some people are like it's really healthier actually if you do studies um, there's really no conclusive study that says that and and so do it if it makes you feel better there's just none they really don't know but a lot of people like soy they feel more comfortable with it so you do you that's great but they used to be triple scented candles and when they changed to soy, I will say the quality has gone down. Um, when I burn the ones that aren't, um, they are stronger, they burn a little bit more evenly. I prefer the old formula, I'm gonna flat out say it. Um, I just feel like the, the soy are hit and miss. They're still working on them. They've got a lot of backlash, but they're not going back. So they're keeping soy and they're working through it. But with that, the prices went up and um, the packaging kind of went down. It's just not as special as it used to be. So that's why I'm saying if you're charging 55, uh, you know, Veluspa, which has some gorgeous, gorgeous, I'm looking at one right there, glass work are like half the price, a little over half the price and they're gorgeous. It's just something to take into consideration. That's it. But as far as the good, they really have some unique scents. You know, they're not as creative as they used to be with the jars, but there are some really pretty jars. The scents are very unique. Um, they have really great customer service. From what I've seen, I've only had a problem once. Um, it wasn't dealt with the, with the way I would have liked in a little bit. Uh, there was some excuses made because the wax basically fell out in transit. It melted and just fell out. And I've never had that happen before, but whatever. But I've seen them respond to other people and they really do have good customer service. So maybe it was just my kind of situation, but whatever. Um, 
I do believe that that was just a one-time kind of thing. I, I've seen some other reviews and they're really gracious, really good company. They do care about the customers. So there you have it. And I think they will kind of tweak things if people complain enough or, or make suggestions. So yeah, kind of a long, long story, but I wanted to talk about Glass House, where it came from, about its history a little bit. There's some people, especially in Australia, because it, it's an Australian company that um, collect these things. And it's just like, you can make a pretty penny on some of the older ones. It's kind of crazy, but you know, in a good way. So I have six candles for the holiday and I have ordered some of these before. Some of these I had last year, some of them I have not. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is one that you cannot get here in the US. This is um, from Peter Alexander and my friend picked it up for me. Um, and sent it to me and I love this one because this is actually my favorite scent. My absolute favorite scent. Now the packaging is just cute. It's very Christmassy and cute and it's a beautiful green candle because you know, the holidays and it's translucent. Again, it's nothing. They used to have designs and just different types. It's, 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 it's green, you know, but smell it is just who it is it, it's, it's Christmas pudding so it, it has like plum in it and like cloves and cinnamon it's just so delightful it is so just beautiful I just love this one so it's it's nutmeg and maple sugar is what they're calling it so I'll put to the side what it is in the notes in it because they're very complex scents but oh the smell is just divine and I, I just, I love these. I love it. I love it. I can actually use this jar in here because this room is orange and green and gold. So um, I use them in my windowsill for my plants. You can take a diamond drill and just put holes in it. Or what I do is keep them in their little planter and just pop them in there. So it just makes it easier too. So this one, unfortunately, you cannot get in the U.S. It is an exclusive only to Peter Alexander in Australia. So then... My friend sent a few of these. I'm not gonna say which ones because the rest of these you can get here in the US. So the first one, actually, let me go with this one. So this one is actually under the mistletoe. Now this one, it's spiced apple and red berries. I never even tried this one. So this is fuzzy, it's like petting a llama or something. I don't know why a llama. Ooh, it's fuzzy, kind of fun. And you know, pretty, pretty packaging. And then, it's very simple. It's red. It's Christmas, you know. Um, not as great as past ones, but shiny red. Christmas. And then you smell it, and it is actually quite beautiful. I've not had this one before. They're really big into the cinnamon kind of scent, so this is a very cinnamon scent to it. Spiced apples. This is basically sweet spiced apples. So there's Again, vanilla, nutmeg, and apple. It's just so sweet. It, it's like a spicy apple pie. It's just really nice. And, and, and I can see what they're saying about the red berries. It has that kind of scent of Christmas to it, too. It's such a weird thing to say. There's certain scents that remind me of Christmas. It has a little bit of a zing to it, and this kind of has that. It's just really, really nice. I just, I like this one. So if you like... That kind of Christmas smell. I don't know what kind of smell it is. It's really hard to describe. I'll put the notes again to the side. This one is very fruity with um, spice to it. And then like that little zing of like a, a, a fresh zingy berry to it. It's just really, really nice. They don't do just boring scents. They're complex. And I, you know, I like that. I like the complexity of their scents. So there's different ones. This is one of the fuzzy ones. Um, not all of them are the fuzzy ones, but I shall show you one that is not a fuzzy one. So this one is just red. It's just kind of boring. I know. Yeah. So this one, is, I know I'm like, yeah, cause it's just, if you're, if you're charging 55 bucks, wow me with your packaging and they used to. So yeah, the special edition ones are more expensive than their regular line so yeah rarely of sales just so you know but gingerbread house is the next one so it's festive spice biscuit so or here in the u.s cookie um it's going to be you know gingerbread so you know it's spicy i like spicy i'm spicy so this one is in gold again sticking with the holiday thing 
um, gold, green, red. Um, and actually, I had this one before. And it doesn't smell the same. It actually, when I first opened it up, smelled like chocolate, like spicy chocolate. Almost like Mayan chocolate, if you've had that Mayan chocolate, is like, it has spices, like cinnamon in it and nutmeg and I think clove. It just has various spices to make it kind of like, whoa, you know, and, and, and sugar in it. It's just like more than just the regular sugar. It has like a sugar on top of it with cinnamon. It's just, I love Mayan chocolate. That's what it smells like to me. It does not smell like gingerbread at all. And last year the gingerbread was really cloying. This year, it's not strong at all. It smells like a vanilla Mayan chocolate or Mayan chocolate with vanilla. I'm not getting the gingerbread at all. And it seems a little bit more synthetic um, than before. Very light in comparison to the others. So this one, I'm not necessarily going, whoa. Yeah, it, 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 maybe it'll burn differently, but I, I don't know. That one's just okay. So the next one is um, Merry and Bright. Now this one's interesting. Merry and Bright is a pineapple mint fizz. Now I know some of you are like, what does this have to do with Christmas? Pineapple mint fizz. Now this is why I'm going to break this one down for you is because, again in the red jar, this makes sense if you are in Australia. So of course in Australia, Christmas is during the summertime. So what we think of here in the States or, you know, in, in, in our hemisphere is, you know, oh, it's cold and nipply and ooh, you know, it's different there. It's hot. They go to the beach. My friend goes to the beach on Christmas. Yeah, I know it's insanity. It's fantastic. And so it's just a very different vibe than what we're used to, you know? So they went with the pineapple fizz because it's very summery, you know? So I love this one. I absolutely love this one. And I may buy one more before the end of the year so I can burn it in the summer because I did burn this during the winter and it was just kind of crazy because it doesn't really match with our kind of Christmas. So actually it's the Christmas in July, light this in July because it's fresh. It's like that minty pineapple scent. So good during the summer. This scent is so good during the summer. It's probably one of my favorite Christmas scents that's not really a Christmas scent to us in this hemisphere. But know that it is, of course, in Australia. It's just very light. If you like light fruit scents, especially pineapple, and it smells very real. It doesn't smell synthetic to me. It's very fresh and the mint with it just is so fresh, so beautiful. I love this one. It's probably one of my favorite Christmas scents that's not Christmas scent in our hemisphere. But honestly, pick one up, burn it during the summer. I love it. I love it. It's just pineapple and mint. And that mint is just so beautifully blended in there. Um, it got damaged in transit. No. Oh, the humanity. Yeah. So the next one is Dancing Sugar Plums. Now, I'm not sure if I had this one before. I'm not really sure. And again, I didn't buy everything of the line because I would go broke. I'm just double checking because I had some there. Nope. Uh -uh. I'm going to double check one more time just to make sure, but I don't think I have them anywhere else. But I'll double check. So this one is Sugar Plums. Now, I could smell this one as soon as I open the box. Gingerbread was a little bit of a letdown. This one just kicked me in the face before I even opened it. They're known for being triple scented. This one, yeah, this one is living that dream. So it's called Night Before Christmas, Dancing Sugar Plums. It's not really saying what's in it. Again, I will put it to the side, but it is really strong. It, oh, it's black currant, plum, lemon, and lavender. Yeah. So if you like lemon and lavender and plums, um, you can definitely smell that lavender. This is going to knock everyone out on their ass because basically lavender is supposed to comfort you and make you fall asleep. This will do it. This one is really heavy. It's really heavy. It's like when you wear like heavier perfume in winter and then somebody just takes it too far and you sit next to them on the subway and you're like, oh, that's kind of what this is. This one may be a little bit more cloying than I like. Um, I'm not really big into it. It's definitely a winter scent. It's not light and airy. It, it's 
it's that person wearing too much cologne on the subway right next to you and you're just like thank god for these masks this smells good it's just too much and i think that one that one that one's a bit much that one's like if you have a two-story house don't leave it unattended it's a candle but put it somewhere and then like let it waft through because this is going to kick you in the face roundhouse kick straight to the face normal packaging again the llama i don't know why a llama So then, the last one that I have, I'm going to double check. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure. The last one is naughty and nice, and it's a handful of candy canes. So I didn't even think to read these, but, you know, basically it's snow stopping, blah, 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 classic peppermint. Um, it's basically classic peppermint. <laughs> That's all. There's nothing added to it, though I'm sure there are. They're not, they tend to add a little bit more to it. Now, this one is an iridescent white. And you can smell it. Oh, there's that peppermint. Pretty packaging though. I do like this one, but they've done it before with the Electric Love. So it's really not that spectacular, but it's definitely peppermint with a little bit of vanilla to it. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's very, very nice. I think it might be a little bit too cloying after a while, being that peppermint is very strong. I almost wish there were like more like marshmallow flair in it or something to kind of soothe it, but if you like peppermint, I think you'll really like this one. Um, it just smells so good. It, it does smell good with the peppermint. It screams Christmas. So I'm kind of excited about this. You know, there's other ones. There was like one that was very orange based and I don't like orange. I don't like oranges. I don't like orange at all. So I didn't buy that one, things like that. So there was a reason why. But if you're thinking of buying some of these and you don't know which ones to go for. You can go to their website and see the different profiles, but of the ones that I have, let me just double check that this is all that I have. Okay, so no, it really was. I was just making sure. So honestly, I haven't burnt these, so I, I can't really say, but if I'm gonna choose the ones that are my favorite, no, our sense of smell is very different, you know, so it's not going to be the same. Now, I mean, the one that I would suggest every single time is this one, but you can't get it, Christmas pudding. But you can't get it here and I'm sorry because I'm just like kind of dangling that carrot in front of you and it's not fair. It's just not. So honestly, I like naughty and nice, but it's just peppermint. It's kind of generic. You can get that anywhere. So, but it, you know, that's up to you. If you love peppermint, great. But what I think Glass House excels at are the really unique kind of scents. So, you know, that I'm going to put aside. Gingerbread, I feel like there are other gingerbread candles in the u.s that are a little bit cheaper that are actually a little bit better scented than this one i feel like it was better in the past it seems weaker this year so this one you know it's good if you're looking for it but i think you could get it somewhere else and it, it would be just as, as great if not better so the ones that i'm going to kind of say go for out of the ones that i've sniffed is okay pineapple mint fizz <laughs> Buy it for the summer. Buy it now because you won't be able to get it in the summer and burn it in the summer. And you will thank me if you love pineapple and like you're thinking of like beaches, exotic beaches and those beautiful smells and exotic fruit drinks. Yeah, that's this one. Oh, merry and bright. It's just so beautiful. It's just tropical fruits and the you know sun-kissed pineapple and strawberry with mint. That's what they're saying. And you can almost feel the smell the fizz, like sense the fizz on it. You really can. It's just so incredible. I'm getting another one of those, so I have it. I always have one here. I'm going to pick up another one probably next payday, so in December. I cannot wait. Um and then there is the spiced apple. I actually like this one. I think it is really unique. It just smells like Christmas to me. I could smell it through this box though. So it is going to roundhouse kick you to the face. But if you like strong scents and you have a big house and you want to fill it when you have company there, oh, this one is for you. This one, oh, I don't know. I, I live in an apartment. It might be too much. We might have to open the windows and go, oh. but who cares? What a way to go. So then the dancing with the sugar plums. This one just smells so good. It really does. Um, it's not as strong, so it actually may fare better here for me. And I'm okay with that. It just has that, I wish I knew what kind of scent it was. It's just that Christmas scent that, it's almost like a soapy scent that comes out around Christmas. And a lot of people put it out. I don't know what it is. 
it's that. It is that scent. It is that scent. And it reminds me of Christmas since I was a little kid. And that's what this is. It's just so beautiful. It's just, uh, black currant, plum, lemon, lavender. It's just beautiful. I don't know what it is, but it's just very comforting. It's such a comforting, beautiful scent, and it just is gorgeous. So if you like lavender with fresh lemon and a little bit of sweet to it, I think you're really going to love that. So that's the three that I would really recommend of the ones. Again, you can get them online. Some of them are starting to sell out. I've seen some of the things selling out. Um, so make sure you jump on that a little bit. I don't think they're going to have any sales for Black Friday, uh, which I won't get this up in time for that anyway. They don't tend to do sales. So... There you go. But if you're a first time person buying from them, I think you get 10% off if you sign up. So, you know, there you go. Save you a little bit of coin, not a lot, but a little bit. So yeah, so that is the Glass House Holiday Ones candles that I said I'd be putting up. I'm a woman of my word. So let me know if you plan on getting any. If not, what are the go-to brands that you usually go for? I know a lot of people like Bath and Body Works. I used to too, but they burn really quickly, really quickly. And they're a little bit sooty for me. So I kind of pulled away from them. Um, Veluspa is pretty good, but I know that their scents aren't quite as strong. I noticed that. Yeah, me too. Me too. But let me know of other brands that you use that I may not know about. Um, because I'm really curious, even though I shouldn't be buying anymore, but that's okay. <laughs> and until next time, have a fabulous day, my friends. <laughs> Bye.